One of the interesting use cases is can I accelerate that three hours down to 30 minutes with some of these tools? And so that's what I that's what I tried to do here. You know, so in 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 this co-analyst tool, you know, I can pull up same source sales and the transcripts and I can see exactly what's happening. You see, okay, you know, Chili's is driving the the acceleration here. Like Chili's a casual diner is comping 14%. Like WTF is going on here. I can see that I can see the source document from the tool. I can start to see specifically, you know, why the company has been raising guidance, right? So then I can kind of go to those sources and and see like what are the specific elements that have driven this 30% positive price EPS revision this year, right? You can kind of pick up a few things by going through this very quickly of like, well, there's been a combination of of um, you know the food and beverage cost environment, which pick pinched last year, is now rolling over. I can I can look at the compare feature here and see that comp sales growth has been 13, but traffic growth has been six and a half, which tells me that there's been five and a half percent price mix growth. So there's real kind of pricing and mix benefit running through the same source sales dynamics against the backdrop of lowering inflation. Well, that's obviously a margin margin tailwind. And then I can kind of dig deeper and I'm like, what the hell is a triple dipper, right? And I can do, okay, there's been positive mix shift from the triple dipper. There was apparently this TikTok trend of uh, pushing this, you know, viral Chili's, uh, this Chili's dynamic, three for, le three for me lunch combo, and then ultimately food inflation, you know, going back to low single digits is a kind of a positive margin whipsaw.